Hey there guys, I'm Conor Mayer. This is Cigar TV. And on today's episode of Cigar TV, I am doing another review over the Scorpion Cigar by Comancho. Now, anybody who smoked a Comancho knows that their logo is a scorpion. So, they named a cigar after, I'm guessing, the scorpion on the on their logo packaging and all that. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know if that's true or not, but it seems like that would be the most obvious choice, but who knows. Now, this cigar right here is a 70 by 7 cigar, so it's a pretty thick ring gauge. Uh, this one is the Sun Grown Cigar uh, wrapper and all that, and uh, yeah cool things about this is you got the letterings and the outside trimming on the cigar wrapper band in yellow and also right there the scorpion on the band is also in yellow itself don't know if you can see that on camera but it is pretty nice uh, in the cigar itself is a nice uh, it's not necessarily, uh, it's not like a dark color, but it's a lighter color and all that. Nothing too bad. Uh, so it's not going to be like a heavy smoke, but at the same time, it's not going to be a wimpy smoke either, you know? So yeah. So, let's get into the flavors of the cigar, and then uh, I'll tell you some interesting facts about this that I've personally noticed, and then uh, after that, we'll see what happens. Alright, so as far as flavor goes, let's uh, see what we have. So there's a little bit of a sour, not sour, uh, a bitterness, but nothing that's overpowering. What does stand out is a, like a strong nuttiness. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, maybe like a slight chocolatey taste to it. And like a wheat. I'm getting a wheat taste from it as well. Uh, so you got like the bitterness, which isn't that strong it's barely even there got like a chocolatey flavor kind of just like with the bitterness you don't really taste the chocolatey part that much uh, the two uh, flavors that really stand out are will be the wheat and the uh, nuttiness so yeah the uh, ashes are holding together quite nicely uh, nice and compact. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. It's a good cigar. Uh, interesting thing. I noticed that these came out right around, uh, Halloween-ish time last year. I, because I remember smoking them right about the same time as Halloween and all that. Uh, so... 
I would think to say that it, they've at least been out for almost a year now. Not quite a year, but I'm just guessing. Maybe the place that uh, I was getting them just got them around that time. But I think uh, that's when these were released because I've had all the Comancho lineup. And uh, this one I didn't have until last year, about that time. And from what my resources told me back then, about a, almost a year ago, that uh, this was one of the newer cigars that they just came out with. Now, you can buy a box of these cigars for about $74, uh, about 80 ish about after tax and all that taxes and all that so you know it's not too expensive uh, so in that box you get 10 of these uh, cigars right here and yeah now let me show you the box too because the box is pretty nice and the box right here is an all black uh, exterior with yellow lettering and yellow uh, work on the scorpion right there on the bottom part it is just your plain old wood and uh, right there on the side you got the name of the scar as well of course you got the freshness sticker and then the barcode right there and all that so like I said it is a nice box uh, a box of 10 cigars. This one's the 7 by 7, 70 by 7, uh, size. And it is the sun-grown wrapper. On the inside of the lid, you get the Scorpion name by Comancho and black lettering. It almost looks like it was burned into the wood, but... If you run your fingers over it, you don't feel like any like the burning marks or anything like that. So it was most likely imprinted. Take it down here to the uh, scorpion uh, on the uh, logo there. That kind of feels like it has some ridges to it. So that part may have been like etched or slightly burnt into the lid but I'm not too sure on that one now inside the box itself you get this beautiful display of the cigars of course one is missing i.e. the one that I was I am smoking on and yeah so it is a wonderful cigar to pick up and try if you haven't yet already and if you like the uh, Comancho lineup to begin with, this is another uh, good cigar by them. So yeah, that's all I really have for this cigar itself. Also, just here's like a side note. If you go to uh, relight the cigar, say like if you uh, forgot that you were smoking on it, got like busy and distracted from smoking on it and uh, you find out hey it's uh, not lit anymore and you go to relight it it doesn't have a uh, funky aftertaste to it that's what I've noticed because that's happened at least once or twice I get busy you know doing random things and I forget that I have the cigar going and all that so yeah and that is actually all I really have for uh, this cigar itself. So if you like what you saw in this video and would like to see more videos like this one, uh, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to see more videos like this one. Also, if you have any future tips, tricks, or brands for uh, cigar brands for future videos, Please leave that down in the comment section and I will do my best to get back to you in a timely manner. 
As well, if you would like to see what I get up to in my day-to-day -day personal life, get some behind-the-scenes action on Cigar TV, go and follow me on Cigar TV 91 on Instagram. That is Cigar TV 91 on Instagram. And until next time, guys, stay safe. And stay smoky.